Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff not the man cheese as always. Got another video for you guys today. That's right, a rare double drop in the uh, essential off season between Madden 21 and Madden 22. Today's a big day, though. As far as EA is concerned, they teased a lot of information that was going to come out today. I mean, all we've really had so far uh, was the the cover athlete came out, the release dates came out, uh, and the uh, some information about the different types of additions. I did all that in a previous video, so I will have a link in the description if you didn't catch that this particular video is going to be all about the trailer now the trailer also dropped and there wasn't a ton of information but there's a lot on the screen here that i'm going to show you a lot of freeze frames and stuff like that that i'm going to show you as well as some little easter eggs that i'm picking up on and what i think it means when it comes to the overall new additions to the game what are going to be some new features because i think there's a lot littered throughout this trailer before i get into all that though if you guys want to see more videos like this as always hit the like button and let me know in the comment section and i'd also you know give me your reaction to the trailer because i'm going to start off by giving you my reaction to the trailer and right off this top i mean when they start off with guys like patrick mahomes in the gameplay you can see at the bottom there it says actual gameplay and then it says enhanced so this is not actually how the game is going to look as always it's just a, a really uh well defined piece to to look at so really good eye candy but when i see patrick mahomes and when i see tom brady right off the gate it feels like an l from ea based off of the fact that we just saw all this exact same type of trailer not too long ago. Tom Brady was just the cover athlete a couple years back, and I think Patrick Mahomes was the cover athlete even sooner than that. I think Patrick Mahomes was like, what, the Madden 20 cover athlete, or maybe the Madden 19 cover athlete? I mean, both these guys were cover athletes recently. So if you're trying to project a new image, you're doing it using old uh, image stuff. I mean, I know that Tom Brady just won Super Bowl, he's the greatest of all time and all that stuff. I know that Patrick Mahomes is definitely one of the young, exciting faces of the league. And he's one of my personal favorite players. I mean, I love watching Patrick Mahomes. Not really against those athletes. I'm just against the imagery that it sends, the message that it sends. When so many people are asking for new stuff in a new game, and right off the top you're coming with same old, same old athletes that we see on the cover in gameplay that you know doesn't really look any different it's just it's just a bad message to start the video but with that being said as i tried to break down some of the individual things i'm seeing there's a lot of little things in here that i'm really excited about and a lot of big things as well especially if you're a cfm fan i think there's some really interesting stuff that i'd like to get into so you can see in that last clip there, they have some video footage of Rich Eisen talking on what looks like his podcast. Then it goes to a bunch of uh, pop-ups here, which almost looks like tweets. Uh, what that says to me, as far as CFM fans are concerned, it looks to me like they're really going to try to up their presentation standards when it comes to, um, you know, it's really a throwaway feature in my opinion. I mean, they've had stuff like this in, in 2K over the years in, in, in NBA 2K games uh, where you're playing like a My Career. I don't know, maybe this is geared towards my career it doesn't really say maybe it'll be geared towards my player uh maybe they'll have something where you're playing as an individual player in the story mode and these things are happening uh but i'm hoping that this is more towards a franchise feature uh where there'll just be more um you know like i said little little side uh you know informational things where you can just kind of watch videos of how they're talking about your players or how they're talking about your team and stuff like that that's what it seems like to me like i said not necessarily the biggest feature i'm not too impressed with that particularly but it looks like they're putting a little bit more effort into that and uh, it looks like they're putting a lot more effort in the cfm which i'll get into later in the trailer this is just a small tidbit but you can see to me it's kind of important information uh based off of the fact that it's just immersion it's something that will bring people into the experience a little bit better which is something that they really kind of lacked over over the uh, the recent years when it comes especially to CFM then in the next sequence you can see they're really trying to show how uh, the NFL in recent years has taken steps um, to you know try to do their part in uh, you know making athletes happy and ending things you know trying to bring uh, awareness to uh, inequality which I think is you know obviously a really good move by the NFL uh, but something that obviously their their athletes feel very strongly about considering that you know the, the movement uh, when it comes to taking a knee and um, you know the things that uh, the league and athletes in the league have done 
over the uh, the last couple of years to bring, um, you know, just to bring awareness to these issues. They're, they're integrating it into the game. And it's something that I feel like I already saw. I mean, when it comes to, um, you know, end racism at the, the end of the end zones, I think that was already in Madden 21. I think I remember seeing that. It's not something that stood out too much, but there are some things on the screen here that looks like they're integrating into the presentation even more uh, when it comes to things like maybe you'll start seeing end racism on, uh, you know, maybe people on the side lines backs or um you know things like that maybe you'll see players taking a knee pre-game um you know things like that it looks like they're trying to uh, integrate that into the game something like female um you know just employees in the nfl whether it's officiating crew members you might start seeing female crew members on the sideline officiating games or just you know officials in general which they don't typically have running around the field uh that might be something that they add uh, but you can see i mean it looks like they're making a real attempt at updating the uh the overall immersion of the game and the overall um, you know, like here with the planes flying over, you can see, I mean, it just looks like they're trying to, uh, trying to step up the presentation a little bit, which is something that I think that this has been lacking. So I applaud them for that. But at the end of the day, um, most people just skip over those intros anyway. They're not really interested in that. So that's another small step on the scale, in my opinion. In the next segment, they try to show you a couple of the new young faces of the league. Typically, quarterbacks is what they're going to push. Rookie players that you can't access in previous years. That's always something that they're going to try to push a little bit. So you see Trevor Lawrence. You see Justin Fields. You see some of these young quarterbacks that most people, you know, especially fans of those teams, are going to want to play with. Then you see a little bit of a receiver, you know, doing some running, tapping his helmet, pre-snap, and stuff like that. And it basically is just showing me when it says real life happens. They're trying to show you how they're trying to make the animations in the game look a little bit more realistic which is something they try to do every year once again kind of small on the scale uh on the next clip here you're going to see you know derrick henry uh with the stiff arm which is a very famous play from last year so obviously it's they're just showing you that they're adding a bunch of new animations to try to make this game look as realistic as possible which is once again immersion most people are, this is what most people want it's after the snap that i think most people complain about uh animations especially so this is not necessarily something that the community wants they don't really want more animations they don't want the game to be controlled by animations um, but if you pause that real quick as well you do see that when derrick henry was on the screen you see there's a 99 overall club um thing circled at the bottom there so it's they're basically telling you right away that derrick henry is going to be a 99 overall player which is something a little easter egg that i think that most people probably miss so I definitely think we have our first confirmed 99 overall club member based off of that. Uh, but I'll get into that a little bit more in the future as well. Then you're going to see something where they say momentum happens. Now momentum shifts is something that's kind of been in and out of Madden games for years. Kind of a rumor. Kind of a, you know, I think most people believe that momentum happens in the game. Uh, it's They're advertising it. So there's definitely going to be something here that is a little bit more on the surface. And that users will probably have more control over when it comes to momentum which is something that I think that most players would probably like. But hopefully there'll be a visual or something that, um, you know, the player itself has control over so that we can create momentum shifts and we can create momentum swings and get back into games or basically blow games out. Which, like I said, is something that most people feel like is already in the game but just kind of hidden in the game if it's something that's more on the surface that we are aware of that there's some sort of way of tracking it that we have control over i think most people would be very happy with that uh, but that's something once again we're going to have to wait to uh, to get more information about in the future so then on the next screen you see um you know coaches throwing clipboards and stuff like that they're just basically showing you once again presentation sideline stuff you'll see a little bit more um you know a little bit more animations a little bit more um excitement on the sideline from the coaches and players just new you know once again it's all about immersion i don't expect these things to completely change the game the next big thing that comes up though is decision making happens now this is where they go into detail a little bit more when it comes to cfm which i think it looks to me like there's going to be some uh, some pretty big features that they're adding if we move forward here we go ahead and we look at this next screen you can see there's a bunch of tiny uh screenshots of all the new uh you know things in cfm now a couple of them look pretty interesting and i i went ahead i tried to blow them up as 
much as possible, and I'm going to show you guys each individual one and what I think they mean, some of which it spells it out for you pretty easily. But ultimately, it looks like there's going to be a lot of new CFM additions. At the very least, there's a new interface. A lot of this stuff is probably readily available now, um, but it looks like they just you know slap a new coat of paint on it. Uh, but there are some things that, you know, and I don't play a ton of CFM, so people that play CFM, you're going to have to tell me if these features are already in the game. I used to play a lot more CFM now. I'm more of a mutt channel, but ultimately I haven't played CFN in several years. But there's a lot of things here that they're trying to make it look like they're new, so I'm going to take it at face value and say that they're new. Now, like I said, some of these screenshots are blurry. I can't really make them out. That was probably by design. EA probably doesn't want to give away all the information before the game comes out, but you guys are going to have to tell me in the comment section what you think some of these things are. This one here looks pretty obvious. It looks like after games, you're going to have uh, interviews and press conferences and, you know, basically answer questions. And I would imagine Imagine that based off of your answers in most games it would have an effect on players like if they're asking you about how the player is playing and you say something about that player you know in a negative way maybe it'll hurt that player's ability to want to resign I don't know uh, if, if EA will go that deep into it but that'd be really cool if they did you know if the coach says something bad about a player maybe he wants to get traded all of a sudden you know I mean things like that could really uh, make um, you know, this game way more realistic. You know, if a coach says something less than flattering about a superstar player, maybe he all of a sudden doesn't want to resign. Maybe all of a sudden, um, he, you know, a lot of different scenarios could play out. Part of me doesn't know if they're going that deep with it, though. Part of me thinks that um, it'll just be just random, like a mini game that really has no overall bearing on your team or on your franchise. But it would be really cool if it was something that serious where, you know, saying the wrong thing could result in consequences as far as your football team's concerned. I just don't know if they're going to go that far. But that's something that really makes me question. Is it possible that EA will take it there in the future? I think that'd be a really cool addition for CFM fans and for CFM players. Now, a lot of these screenshots really just look like team building tools, which, you know, every year the game has, like the talent tree here, which I can clearly see. This looks like an in-game uh, progress system for goals while you're playing in a game. This particular one looks interesting, though. Managing player health. Having more control over when your players play rather than it just being automatically decided for you by the computer. I think that's a function that's been in the game for a while now. I'm not really 100% sure. Like I said, I don't typically play franchise mode that much anymore but i do like the concept of being able to control that who knows maybe if you really botch that and you put a guy out there maybe you ruin his career maybe it can be that serious if it is that's definitely a fun wrinkle to throw into the game you can see here we have staff management that's a feature which i think was in the game in previous years we basically can increase your ability to do certain things based off of who you hire on the coaching staff uh, which i think is pretty neat uh, they actually have another screen here where when they switch over there's even more stuff Truth be told, a couple of these screenshots are repeats, like the one at the top there with Lamar Jackson where it says offensive game plan is the same one at the bottom on the left where it says the exact same thing. So it just shows their hand a little bit. They have some new features, but they don't have so many new features that they can even fill out two sets of a screen to show you all the new features. So that's something to think about. Uh, but ultimately, there's a lot of really cool looking new things, and I haven't even gotten to the gameplay yet. Now, this might be a big one here where, you know, in years past, past you used to have to go to like daddy leagues and stuff to basically keep track of who was in a league it looks like they might actually have added something to do uh, some way of tracking who owns what team in the league or maybe opening communication a little bit better or um, you know it looks like there's something they're setting up in there now which is really nice because that's something that should have been in the game a long time ago typically people have to go to either daddy leagues or have a Facebook group or have a discord or whatever there's so many different ways that they try to keep track um, outside of the game where here this screenshot makes it look like they're trying to keep track inside of the game finally which is going to be a nice feature so now on to what looks like a pretty major gameplay feature that they're adding. You see this here, it says pressure happens. And then they go through a long series of shots where it looks like late in the fourth quarter, something like that, where it almost looks like icing the kicker is going to happen, but instead it's going to happen during an offensive possession. So if you're in a high pressure situation, especially on a road game like this is, is here, we're going to see Patrick Mahomes in Denver trying to beat them. I mean, there's a couple of shots here that 
that really stand out. You can see the crowd's getting loud. Patrick Mahomes is saying, I can't hear, I can't hear, which basically means that you sounds like you're going to have some sort of tunnel vision. Think of like when you're at the back of the end zone uh, against your own goal line, you see like a weird vision. Like here, this shot almost makes me think that you're just not going to be able to see the field like you typically will, and they're going to make it harder for you uh, to go down the field and win games late in these clutch situations. Now, that might be an issue that people really don't like, but it's definitely a new feature. People are asking for new features. They're asking for realism. Things like this definitely add to that, and you can see that they're definitely uh, showing you that there will be something, um, you know, some sort of feature that you have to overcome in the game when it comes to late fourth quarter, uh, you know, close ball games. They're going to make the game harder for people to uh, to play in those scenarios, and I think that that's definitely interesting. I don't like icing the kicker. I hope they don't do it to a point where it's it's it makes the game unplayable for whoever's in that situation. But it's definitely going to be something that's going to uh, decide a lot of ball games. And then last but not least, we have what looks like our second 99 club member in Patrick Mahomes. You can see once again, the 99 symbol pops up underneath his name. It's circled, which makes me think that they're basically airmailing that. That's what's going to, you know, we got two 99 club members. At the very end of the video, at the end of the trailer, they circled 99 club again, basically meaning that that's going to be what comes out next. We're all going to see who the 99 club players are next. Um, that's going to probably be the next big reveal or the next big release when it comes to information from EA. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I think I did a pretty good service uh, by this video. If you like what you saw here, you want to see more videos like this, as always, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.